Okay, here we go with turn one of scenario 10, small town. Basically what we're going to try and do is move over into this room. We've got a spawn in sight in between, so we could potentially have a few zombies coming at us. So the first person to go is Josh, and he has a crowbar. So all Josh is going to do is going to move one. That's all he's doing. Amy, she's only got a pan, and she's got Phil there with her, and he's got a fire axe. So Amy is going to ask Phil if she can have the fire axe. And Phil says, no problem. So he's given her the fire axe. So that's one action. Second action is she's going to move in with Josh. And basically all I'm going to do is just move everybody up into here. So we're going to have Ned next. Followed by Phil. Followed by Nick. And lastly, Wanda. A bit boring, I know. But I'm worried about what could come up here. Uh, if a runner comes up here, you could attack him straight away. So the first thing we do is we're now going to spawn up there. We're going to spawn clockwise in that sort of motion. So the first one up there, it's an abomination. Oh dear. So the abomination has come out straight away. We now spawn in this zone. This can't come off the top. Ah, right, it's a sewer. That means um, one runner is going to appear in a sewer on a tile wherever the survivors are. Now the survivors are down here on this tile, so they appear there. Nowhere else. So the walker will appear there. So that's not too bad. We're now going to spawn down here. And that is one walker. So that's not too bad. And finally, over there. Ah, right. This says, just when you thought things couldn't get any worse. There's nothing there, so you're lucky. Still cool, nothing happens. But if we've been up in yellow, all the walkers, which is that guy and that guy there, would have all taken an extra turn, but they don't. So they've got away with that fine. Just got that abomination up there to worry about. So... We now move the marker to Amy, because she is going first in the next round. Without further ado, we'll go straight in and do it. So Amy, now with her fire axe, is going to move in. She gets a free move, that's part of her special ability, so she still has three actions. And she's going to use all three to try and kill this walker. Now she's got a fire axe, so she gets one dice to get a four or more. Miss with the first one. Got a six. Zombie's gone. Amy moves up to one. So that's a bit awkward one handed. So it's free move, two attacks, she's got one go left. So she's going to use it to smash this door open with a fire axe. And that creates some sound. So we now have to spawn in these rooms. So we're going to start with this room here. And it's one runner, so that's not good. And finally, this room here, which is nothing. So they've done all right there. That's her go over. We now have Ned. Now, Ned has a pistol, so he's got one, two actions. You can see that runner in that room, so for his third action, he's going to shoot. Now he's got one dice and he's got to get a four or more, I believe. Yep. He has to get a four or more. He's got a two, so he's missed. He gets a sound token. That's all he can do. So we now have Phil. He also has a pistol. So it's one, two. Third action is to shoot. Got a six, that zombie is dead. And it creates more noise. And Phil, right down here, 
he goes up to one on the wrong. That is his go over. We now have Nick. He would take three moves to get in there. Well, one, two moves. His third move is going to search. And he has some water, so that's not very good for Nick. That is all Nick can do. We now have Wanda. Now, Wanda's special ability is she can move two zones in, in one go. So that's one action. She's now going to use a second action to search. You can only search once, remember. <laughs> and she's got some rice. So this isn't looking good, search-wise. Um, so we have one character left to go, which is Josh. So he too can take two actions to move in there. And his third action is to search. And Josh has got a shotgun. Brilliant. So he gets two dice to get four or more. And with this he can kill a fatty as well. So that was his third action. So that is it for Survivor's Go. We now have Zombie Phase, which is move. Can't attack, so they move. This one can't attack, so he moves. We now have Spawning Phase. Up in the top there. One walker. That spawning zone, still cool, it would have been all walkers take an extra go but they're on blue so nothing happens. Down here where Amy is, we have one walker, so Amy's got a bit of company. And finally over there, oh, two walkers. So. A little bit more to deal with, but it's not too bad. So we now have clean up phase. So we get rid of these. And we move the token up to Ned, because he will be the next one to go. So I'll end this video there. So that's the first two rounds over. Survivor's okay at the moment. Let's see what happens in the next round. Catch you guys on the next video.